in the previous video in this playlist, we went over square binomials or binomial square, where we have a bracket to the power of two, which means that this bracket is repeated twice. It is a binomial multiplied by an identical, exactly the same binomial. Same, same in every way, same signs and everything. And I showed you a shortcut method for doing this. We did quite a few examples, including some tricky ones. So go look at that if you haven't seen that yet. But in this video, we're going to be focusing on the difference of squares binomial or the difference between two squares binomials. What makes this different from this is that the difference of square binomials, these binomials are almost the same. Look at them. However, what's different between them is this one has a plus in between and this one has a minus in between. So almost identical, but they have opposite signs and they're being multiplied by each other. Signs are different. We have a shortcut method for this one, but it's different to the shortcut method for this one. So don't get confused. Let's jump in. So if I had to ask you to simplify this or expand this, something like that, then I hope you know that you can apply the FOIL method or everything in the first bracket multiplied by everything in the second bracket. So this is what we get. I hope you can see that the middle two terms here, negative 3x plus 3x, you owe someone 3 rand, you pay them back 3 rand. How much do you owe them? Zero. That middle terms, those middle terms cancel each other out. They're inverse operations, okay? Additive inverses, they disappear. So we end up getting x squared minus 9. Now we make use of the fact that these two middle terms disappear in this shortcut. So the shortcut method in this case is similar to the one that I taught you in the previous video. You square the first term, you square the last term, and you put a minus in between them. A minus, it's always going to be a minus because it's the difference of two squares binomial. Difference in maths means minus. So if I had to apply it to this very simple one that I did over here, you would square the first term, doesn't matter which bracket you choose, square the first term, you get x squared, you square the last term, they're the same, so it doesn't matter which bracket you look at, square the last term, three squared is nine, put a, put a minus in between. That's it. Let's look here, square the first term, so we're going like this, 3x, we are squaring it. Remember, squaring it means you're multiplying it by itself. 3x times 3x, 9x squared. Or you can think of it as power inside times power outside. 3 squared and x squared. 3 squared is 9x squared. However you like to think of it, it's fine. Okay, so square the first term, square the last term, 4 squared is 16, and you put a minus in between. That's how easy it is. And if you want to check yourself, you can do the normal FOIL method like this, where everything in the first bracket is multiplied by everything in the second bracket. You'll get that. And as you can see, these middle terms disappear. Negative 12 plus 12 is zero. And you're left with what the shortcut method gives us. Try this one quickly. Pause the screen and do it. Okay, let's mark it quickly. So this one, square the first term. So three squared is nine and x squared is x to the power of 4. If you need to do it on the side of your page to help you, please do it. So it's 3 to the power of 2 and x to the power of 4 because it's power inside times power outside. So 9 x to the power of 4. So square the first term. Square the last term. So 5 squared is 25. And then y squared and put a minus in between. Easy as that. Let's take a look at our last example, which is a little bit more complicated. Here we have a difference of squares binomial because the first two are almost the same, but this one's got a plus and this one's got a minus. And then we've got another one over here, difference of squares binomial. This one's got a plus, this one's got a minus. So we apply the shortcut twice. There's a minus in between, however. So we're going to carry the minus down and our answer to the shortcut is going to go in brackets because eventually we're going to distribute this negative into the second bracket. Okay, so let's apply the shortcut to the first binomial difference between squares binomial. Square the first term, so 2x, and then we square that. So it's going to be 4x squared. Just remind yourself, you're not only squaring the x, you're squaring the 2 as well. Then square the last term, it's going to be y squared, and pop them a negative in between, a minus. Okay, same thing over here, square the first term, it's going to be x squared, square the last term, remember it's 3y, that's what we're squaring, so we're not only squaring the y, it's not only y squared, we're also squaring the 3, what's 3 squared, or 3 times 3, 9, pop a minus in between, a negative sign, then, because we had two brackets, or two terms here to start with, this is going to give us one term here in its own bracket. This is going to give us another, essentially. And then we need to multiply that negative into the second bracket. 
So the first bracket stays the same. 4x squared minus y squared. That's going to become negative x squared. If you multiply a negative into a bracket, the sign of everything changes. Negative x squared and positive 9y squared. And now we do like terms. So as you can see, these are like terms. And then the y squares are like terms. Remember, like terms, they need the same base, so x, and the same exponent. So for example, if I had an x cubed here, that would not be a like term. Because although it has an x, it has a cube. Okay. So 4x squared minus 1x squared is 3x squared. You've got four of them. Minus one of them, you've got three of them. Then minus 1 plus 9. Or 9 minus 1 is plus 8y squared. And that's it. So here's a summary of the different types of binomial times binomial and the shortcut methods for each. Don't confuse the shortcut methods, study it properly. But if you use it correctly and you know exactly how to use it, these will be very useful in the future. Check out the next video in the playlist for more algebra. I'll see you very soon. Bye, everyone.